Join me now, Congress of Racial Equality Leader Niger Innes. Great to see you, Niger. Thanks for being here. How many times, Niger? Let's let's start with the Trump dossier. That's that's Exhibit A. How many times has has this story or that story been told as something that was going to bring down this president, and it all fell flat? Uh, all falls flat, and that dog just won't hunt. And by the way, you could add, in addition to Mike, uh, the the wolf, sleazy wolf's uh, book went, that went nowhere, uh -huh. uh, you can add that to Dumarosa. I'm sorry, Amarosa's mm. uh, book, oh, which actually went nowhere. Uh, you can add it to Michael the Rat Cohen's testimony, uh, which, which went nowhere. Um, over and over and over again, from Stormy Daniels to all these these unbelievable charges, it goes nowhere. And the bottom line, the entire agenda of this cabal within the, what's frightening, though, about this, I mean, there's something very serious about this, which is that you have uh, allegedly senior, but regardless if they're senior or not, you've got people within the American government actively trying right. to undermine right. the president of the United right. States. Well, they don't call it the, the, the deep swamp for nothing. I mean, this is the deep state itself. A lot of these are people are holdovers. They're, they're career bureaucrats. They, they never liked Donald Trump. They probably tried to endear themselves to him in the beginning, uh, talking about how wonderful he was, only to be leaking stuff underhandedly uh, to the press. But isn't the public catching on to this? It's the public that I care about more than anything else. And the public, I would think, would catch on to the, to the phony stories, the phony books, the phony sources, etc. I do believe that. I mean, in spite of our our colleagues in the, the establishment liberal media that uh, constantly push this, recycle it, and push it again, I think the public has had its full of this. I think there is a attack on Trump fatigue that's taking place, and I think there's going to be a backlash that reveals itself in November 2020. Well, you know, it, it is fitting that this book is called Anonymous, I, I, because so much of what is done, the, the, the idea of of an anonymous source. Maybe it can have one or two in a story. I used to write for the Wall Street Journal. I did it for 14 years. My editors insisted that 75% of my sources had to be on the record, not only on the record, but they, they had to be called by other editors to assure that what I said they were saying they had said. So, I mean, the, the checks and balances, they're all gone now because you can have a story that's 100% based on just one unnamed source. And, and that's, that's what right. this book is. I mean, this is when the president talks about the fake media, the people have to understand it's not just rhetoric coming from the president. There is a major change in the way journalism is being done today that leads to not only fake stories in the newspapers, but entire books that are fake. It's a, a disgusting, sleazy cabal of uh, many within the mainstream media, along with some of these uh, sneaky uh, government officials. Compare what this individual, this so-called anonymous individual, is doing to what Mattis did, the former defense secretary. He obviously disagreed with some policies uh, of the president of the United States. But when he left government and was asked over and over and over again by mainstream uh, establishment media to uh, belittle the president of the United States or belittle his policies, he refused to do so right. because he is a person that uh, believes in this country and believes in the Constitution. Absolutely. Absolutely. No, they're, they're honorable people. But the reason, it's important to emphasize again, the reason they're going after him and the reason that they're using these underhanded tactics to try to get rid of him right from the beginning, as we found out from the lawyer for the whistleblower, right a couple of weeks after the inauguration itself, they talked about a coup and, and impeachment and so forth, is because he's threatening the establishment, the people that have controlled the levers That's of right. power inside the Beltway, and not just inside the Beltway, in New York and everywhere else. He's threatening all of those establishment figures, and, and they want to bring him down because they could and lose they their did. jobs. Not 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 just Democrats or liberals, That's but right. there's some Republicans uh, within that few. establishment that were very comfortable drinking from the, the swamp, if you will. Absolutely. And, and, and David, I know we were running out of time, yeah, but my business partner, uh, Nate Lawhorn, and, and I are going to send you and Trish a couple of uh, these hats, <laughs> okay. which is uh, ballers for our new restaurant that's coming out in uh, January 2020. Then we want you, we want you to fly out and, and tape a segment from location in Las Vegas. Sounds good to me. We'll try to work it out. We'll try to work it out. I promise we'll try, <laughs> Nigel. I can't guarantee Thank it'll you, happen. Thank you, David. No. That's Thank all you I can much. ask. I appreciate it. Thank you.